Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. <clears throat> it's Friday. <laughs> it's been marginally drama free. <laughs> Pretty much drama free. <clears throat> okay, let me know if you're here. Because it would be super nice to see everybody today. For some reason, I'm not seeing the chat. Okay. Are any of you here? Can you hear me? Okay. There's Juanita. And Rhonda. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just got a little nervous because nobody was responding. I'm like, ah. ah. Thank you, Juanita. Hello, Rhonda and Lori. Great to see you guys. I know I wasn't here last week, so anytime... Anytime there's a interruption in the regular schedule, things get a little wonky. Thank you. I accept all hugs, <laughs> all prayers. I do. Hi, Tori. Hi, Joan. So we're just going to chat a minute while we wait for everybody to wander in. Hi, Cindy and Angie. Hi, Shu. Got my hair cut. Yep. I had to. Had to cut the stuff off. Hi, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Hi, Gail. Waiting for the ads to end. Thank you. Hi, Tink. Hi, Shelly. Candy. Malia. Woo, Malia's here. You don't usually get to be here, do you? <sighs> I had to get rid of it. Hold on a minute. Just a second, I'll be right back.
Okay, and I'm back. Okay, um, let's see. Just scrolling back for a second. Um, hi, Pam from South Africa. Welcome. My goodness, you might get the you might get the prize for the furthest away. <laughs> hi, Frana. Um, I don't know. Shoes in India. I don't know which one's further away. Hi, Mary. Hey, Debbie. Angie, hello, hello. If this annoys you when you're watching the recording, just scroll through. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> it's the fun of the live show. I get to talk to people. Hi, Dorothy. Ah, Lori dropped her pup off to get groomed. And guess what is next door? Might or might not be a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> she might or might not have spent $50. Hello, Creative Wings. I haven't seen you for a while. Hi, Tam. Lena. Hello, Lena. No, Lena. I don't know. Lena might get the prize. She's in Denmark. Who's who? I don't know who's farthest away. Hi, Sherry. Um, hi, Chris. Good to see you. Um. Hi, Kimberly. Thank you. It's good to be here. Definitely good to be here. Hi, Katie. You like the haircut? Ah, oh, Lori got packages too. Hi, Nancy. Oh, no. That Lena. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, that Lena. She is... She's something with her writing. I'm behind. I didn't get to read the, or listen to the last, to the part three yet. So, I've listened to a little bit of it, but not very much. Just hadn't worked out. Hi, Marion. Thank you. Hi, is it Lila? Lila, thank you. Good to have you here. Um, all right. All right, I think I caught up. Hi, Nettie. I think I caught up with everybody. All right. So anyway, yeah, life is life is what it is. Just sometimes it's a little. Um, sometimes it gets a little squirrely. Last week, nothing was cooperating. Nothing was cooperating last week. Not people. Not computers. Not me. <laughs> By the time I got got myself, you know, kind of in a space where I thought, okay, I think I can stream, didn't happen.
trying again. Try again. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna check and make sure that Claus Man is hearing me. All right, I'm just gonna go da 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 because I just need him to answer me. Hello, Jan. Hi, Anne. Hi, Journey. Sorry, Journey, I just cannot remember your name. Just hasn't stuck. It has not stuck. Hey, Janet. Hello to everybody. All right. All right, let me try it this way. Okay, he's got me. All right, good. Okay. Some days it's an adventure. Some days it's an adventure. Okay. Days it's an adventure. <sighs> anyway, having a little tea, using my imagination. Good to have everybody here. The fact that everything was a little wonky for the last 13 minutes is going to just tick off a bunch of people watching the recording. Here's the thing down at the bottom under the window, <laughs> if you're watching the recording, there's a little scroll bar. You can scroll over. You can fast forward past all this. It's easy. It's easy to fast forward and get past all that. You can also go back in time, real time, so you can do that too. If you miss something and you ask me, you know, what is, you know, how did you do, whatever, you can always scroll back in real time. Uh, Jan sent an email. I have. I, I. I don't know when you sent it, Janet or Jan. I don't know when you sent it. I haven't checked email today. So if it came through today, um, my uh, it, it, things are a little wonky at the moment. So you gotta anything you send me that is important, <laughs> you'll have to probably send it multiple times okay all right so welcome everybody I'm Barb Owen it is drama free Friday um, and usually if it's not drama free I just don't stream <laughs> you know what I mean I usually just don't stream last week too much drama my computer hi Becky my computer last week um, it apparently needs an upgrade in the operating system and anymore the electronics if you don't upgrade the operating systems when they say they want to be upgraded they get real fussy and so it it got fussy and all day long it had restarted itself sometime in the night and all day long it said one minute about one minute remaining for the update or whatever it was that it was doing like all day long so one minute was very long and so anyway the good news is race is coming home and so he will be here for about a week and so he will help us thank you Jan so he will be here and um, get me all up to date on everything hi Ellie yeah, so basically what it boils down to is when I can stream, I'm streaming. When I can't, I just can't. Um, and so in last week, we have automatic messages that trigger. I couldn't get into the computer to even stop the automatic trigger, and I didn't think about telling Race to do it. So anyway, yeah, it was crazy. You like my short hair? Good. I just had to get rid of it. I had to get rid of it. Had to get rid of all this back here. It's like the sauna, the sauna in the shower is, it's a lot. It's a lot hot. <laughs> it's a lot hot. It's a lot hot. You know, because it's, it's like got to have the room warm so that 
it's warm for the person taking the shower. But, oh my goodness, I'm telling you what. So anyway. Yep, Jan, exactly. It was a combo platter. Anywho, let's move on. Let's not talk about that anymore. Um, I got happy mail from Aunt Bex Creations. She's one of the mods, and she never told me to take her off as a mod, so she's still a mod. She'll be a mod forever until she says, Hello, Ina. Um, and the same thing with Barbara Clark and whoever else. If you're, if you're assigned a mod, you'll have to tell me that you don't want to be on uh the mod anymore otherwise you're just there permanently <laughs> so anyhow anyway i'm going to show the happy mail that aunt beck so kindly sent it was a very bright spot in the the day i received that was great um i got a box of stuff and i haven't even opened it so i thought we'll just open it together how's that hi janice <laughs> Ellie got her hair long enough to braid. Well, that's never going to happen here, let me tell you. So anyway, um, years ago, I joined a support group, a grief support group. And I did that. It was a whole long thing. We don't need to go into it. I, we don't need to go there. Um... Yeah, it does look like a vintage box, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> look. Let me see that. Coronation 7-piece aluminum cookware set. It is old. Anyway, one of the people that was in the grief support group is from Thailand. And, um, and so she's moving back to Thailand. She had moved here. She's an interesting story. She had moved here... Um, I don't remember exactly why she came from Thailand to the United States and came to um, this area. The University of Missouri is here. But anyway, she was a student at the University of Missouri. And one of her professors, she, um, she somehow in the course of their, you know, her going to school and so forth and so on. Anyway, they ended up getting married. And I don't think either one of them, I don't think, I know they together didn't have children. I don't think he ever had children either. Anyway, um, after a few years of them being married, then he passed away. That's what landed her in the grief support group where I was. And so she is moving back to Thailand now. And so she wanted me to have whatever's in this box, which I have not opened yet. <laughs> it could be risky business. All right, so let's see what's in here. We're going to see it together. We're going to see it together. All right, you're going to get a little too much um, view of my desk here, but... There we go. Okay. So I got no idea what's in here. So I'm just going to pull it out. So there's a bag of who knows what. So I'm just going to pull all this stuff out. And then we'll look at it. How's that? Well, there's a lot in here. Now, some of you enjoy looking at things like this. And so I thought, um, hi, Tia. And so we're just going to look at this stuff together. How's that? Okay. Let's see what is in... Let's see what all this is. She had told me she was giving me a tablecloth. I think she gave me 
many tablecloths. I have no idea where these came from. But look. Isn't that pretty? This is clearly hand done. Yeah, all the the drawn thread work and the edging. I believe it's all hand done. And there's well this yeah we'll just <laughs> I was gonna tell you what what it was called when I was teaching sewing and that kind of thing but it's not in a, a politically acceptable name at this point so we'll just say that there you go isn't it pretty yeah it's big it is quite big I think this is a round tablecloth isn't that pretty? Look at the look at the center of it. All that work. That is a lot of work. I don't know if she did the work on it. I'm pretty sure it came from Thailand, but I don't know. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's really pretty. Anyway, okay, so there's that one. I'm going to just put them back in the box as we go. And this looks like place, no. It's another table mat or something. Beautiful designs on it. That drawn thread work in here. Incredible. Battenberg type areas. And there's the wrong side. Almost, almost as beautiful on the wrong side as the right. Not quite, but almost. But it is hand, hand done. I don't have a clue what I'm going to do with this, by the way. Not a clue. This must be a tablecloth of some sort. And this is very similar, but not the same. So there's the corner design on that one. Here's the corner design on the one that I showed you a minute ago. So they're clearly different. Similar, but different. You guys enjoy seeing things like these. Hi, Janet. It is beautiful, isn't it? They're great designs. Great for inspiration for doodling and beautiful, beautiful work. Look at the, the way they have done this flower with that very fine work in the middle. Oh, goodness. Beautiful. That is a ton of work. Can't even imagine sitting and doing all that. Can't imagine. All right, so there's those two. I guess taking all of this back to Thailand was just not something she wanted to do. I really don't know where this came from. It could have come from her husband's. I don't know. I got nothing. True, Marion. That's true. There's more. She is an amazing seamstress in her own right. She does absolutely beautiful garment construction, tailoring, and all of that. So, I mean, it's possible that she did all of this. But look how beautiful. That is a lot of work. I'm glad I shared this with you because you can appreciate it with me. All right. 
So there's that one. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Look at the work in this thing. Oh my goodness. And it's my favorite color, taupe. <laughs> taupe is not my favorite color. However, you do have to appreciate the level of work in that. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. I mean, the fact that you can do that precision work in the middle of something, stunning. Just stunning. And that same drawn thread kind of, let's see, put my hand under it. That same kind of drawn thread work goes all the way around. Interesting. Mm. That, but just get a load of the center of this. Let me open it just so you can see just the center design of this. Look at this. Look at all that. That's incredible, isn't it? Truly incredible. And in my favorite color. Lena, I did get to see you do the mandala on whatever you were doing the other last Saturday. I did get to see you do that. <laughs> that was funny. She was, she said she was not going to do it in uh, tight and buff, not for Barb. Oh my goodness. Now this has a tag on it. I don't know why it would have a tag on it. So let's just take the tag off, shall we? I would guess maybe she had it cleaned or something. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay. Take a look at that. Now this is, this is true. such delicate and such artistry. This thing is huge too. Huge. Look at this. Look at that. So all of this, the way that this works is all of those threads, this is cut and let's see, how did they, and they pulled out a lot of the threads and then the threads that were remaining then those are bundled and stitched in a design and then this lace work is done in, yeah but all of this is done by hand all by hand it's amazing isn't it that this is a piece that will I mean it will just disintegrate if not handled carefully because there are so many open spaces in it and then hem stitching done by hand I think let's see no the hem stitching I can see there's a machine zigzag stitch on that but all of this is done by hand I'm sure yeah that incredible oh my goodness and the thing is big really big really 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 big okay let me just open this so you can see a little bit more of it look at that can you imagine sitting and doing that I don't know how this is done in here. Look at those. That. Amazing. Just amazing, isn't it? 
And then there's this one. This is like a dresser scarf. And that's done with a buttonhole stitch. Can you see that? This is linen and starched within an inch of its life. And that's um, buttonhole stitch. And then this is a hand crocheted lace edging. Look at that. These are works of art. They really are works of art. And then this one is Battenberg. Hand created Battenberg lace. Now this one is, some of the threads have broken, right there. But look at this. All hand stitched, hand created, Battenberg lace. Look at that. Anybody that doesn't like hand work is going to just think this is just terribly boring. But this one, this one has definitely seen better days. It's coming apart in various places. Mary Atier would enjoy this because it's got, it's already rusted. <laughs> it's already rusted. That, I mean, look at the, the rust on it. I may have to send this to the Mary Atier so she can use it in her in her rusty journal that she's doing. She wouldn't have to do any work. <laughs> look at all of that work on there. Look. Look at all that. Wow. Amazing. And then there's this one. Oh, I gotta have a drink of tea. I tell ya. This is linen. Um, somebody's gonna have to if you know how to get a hold of the Mary Atier, tell her. <laughs> I'll let her look at it. We can at least make her swoon, can't we? So again, this is hand done. It's a buttonhole stitch around the edge down here. And this is that um, drawn thread work. This one is very plain by comparison to all those other pieces, but a beautiful piece, a lot of linen. Beautiful, beautiful piece of linen with edging around, all the way around it. Mmm, gorgeous. Was that fun or what? I know, it's incredible, isn't it? Incredible. All right, so let's see what's in here. I have no idea what this is. A block for, like, block printing. Wow. Look at that. That is a bona fide block print um, block. Look at the work. A lot of it has come, has worn away. Is that gorgeous? <coughs> Can you imagine? This is heavy. I can't imagine doing that um, for many hours a day. It is old. Definitely old. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. Wow. So these are, this is silk. Look at how it's, look at how it's put in this, in this, um, 
paper frame. Get a load of that. Can you see that? Look at that peacock. I know. And this, this is this is in stitch here. Of course, I have no idea what it says. Look at that beautiful butterfly. Wow. Here's another one. These are on like a silk charmeuse. Beautiful. Wow. Talk about artistry. What in the world do you do with something like this? Probably exactly what she did was just, which is just hold on to it all these years. These need to be in a gallery someplace, framed and in a gallery. That's where those need to be. It is stunning. Stunning, stunning. And these are applique pieces. These are linen. So the appliques are all done. And ready to be applied to something. Look how beautiful. I can't even imagine turning the edges under the little narrow edges. Wow. Look at these. Look at that. How tiny that is. And that has all been turned under. Ellie has a dragon like that. Uh, they really do need to be framed. And look at these leaves. Look at these little... I'm dropping things. Look at these little tiny flowers and buds and all of them all pre-turned so all the edge is turned ready to just apply to something. This all by itself is a ton of work just to get to this point. Look at these tiny, tiny leaves. Okay. Look at these tiny little leaves. And the edges are turned under. <sighs> Mercy. And this must be a design for something. Maybe an, an embroidery or, oh, I bet this is the design for one of those pieces. Anybody have any idea what that says? It's making my nose run. <laughs> Slow stitch heaven, yeah, Tori. Hi, Marilyn. Sorry about blowing my nose in your ear, but these must have been in a little dusty spot, but look at that. Look how beautiful the design is. And the paper is delicate. This must be another part of this. I don't even know what language this is. Anybody know what language this is? I, I don't know if it's Thai. I don't know. I don't know. 
Wow. Amazing. All right. So let's see what this is. Okay, the block of wood, she says, I don't know what it is, but I thought called chanting for making batik. The black fabric is hand woven from Thailand, the rest from China or Taiwan. Okay, so the rest of it's from China or Taiwan. But is that incredible? I mean, that is just that by itself is amazing. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Don't now don't ask me what I'm going to do with all this cuz I got nothing. <laughs> I got no idea. So this is a hand-woven cloth from Thailand. Hmm. So they've turned the edges under and somebody's hand stitched it just to keep it from raveling. These look like an animal of some kind, but I don't know what it is. Any ideas? So there's this piece. There's quite a bit of that one. And then there's a second piece. I don't think there are for the appliques, honestly. I'd have to look at it a little more closely, but I don't think they are. They're similar, but I don't think it's the same. Okay. Here we go. Here's the design. Hand woven. Look at that. I mean, it just sort of leaves you just kind of speechless, to be honest. Katie says her son is a linguist and he's pretty sure it's Chinese. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Katie. <clears throat> this part is the front. This is the back or the inside, the other side. So this is the back the back side. You can see all the, the threads. And there's the front. Yeah, I think you're probably right, China or Taiwan, since that's what she said. I just, I don't know the languages with the characters at all, so I'm not smart enough to even um, hazard a guess. <laughs> I can't even hazard a guess. <clears throat> well, this is interesting stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't think this is from these. Well, let's look. It's very similar. I mean, I suppose it could be. It could be. It could be. What do you guys think? It just doesn't seem like it would be. You know? It's very similar, though. Oh, anyway. Who cares? It's beautiful stuff. It's beautiful stuff. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> because now I've been entrusted with this very great responsibility. I'm now the keeper of the stuff. Now what do I do with it, huh?
Ellie learned a lot about those different languages by studying directions from Ikea. How interesting. Okay, so there you go. There you go. Beauty. Beauty from other parts of the world. Just beauty, right? Hey, CB. What would you guys do with it? Oh, made my nose itch. Uh. I'm just scrolling back through the chat here. Hey, Linda Patrick. Anybody that I missed, um, welcome, welcome. The wood block would cost the earth. Look after it. <laughs> it's in it's in kind of rough shape. Marilyn says she would do flowers and 3D Brazilian embroidery. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Janet puts hers in the cedar chest. Pretty much. Pretty much. I should think of something awesome. <laughs> yeah, Janet says she'd be the idiot that makes journal pages and covers. <laughs> Hey, Laura. <sighs> Any hoot. That's um, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. All right, let's look at Becky's Happy Mail, shall we? Speaking of more beautiful things. Yep. Beautiful things. I got beautiful things this week. That was really special. <clears throat> so this is from our Aunt Beck's Creations. And um, it would make amazing book cloth. I don't know. Um, it's a, that's a good thought, Juanita. It's a good thought. <clears throat> so anyway, this is from Becky. Look at the envelope. So she made the envelope. It appears that the um, postage has not been canceled, so I may cabbage that right off of there, Becky. <laughs> but look at her flowers. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if this was from... If she just decorated the envelopes. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like that's what she did. And inside was a whole bunch of fun. A whole bunch of fun. I know the envelope is great, isn't it? It's going to have to go in my journal. So in here is, I watched her do a lot of these. I didn't know I was going to get to have some of them. So there's a note in here someplace. Here. So this is a card she made. And this was when we did those um, Picasso animals. And I think this was one that she did from that. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I love that. Anyway, she said, uh, Picasso Doug. Yeah, Picasso Doug. Duh, Doug. Picasso Dog done with me during one of the streams that we did. Um, she says she put together some goodies inspired by me for a while now and then uh, sent them to me. Everything is a sticker to use as I wish. The safari relatives who are in here are just those fan this is my favorite part of this this is my favorite thing she says the safari relatives are just those family members that show up unannounced with slides from their trips <laughs> and you have to sit and watch for hours <laughs> oh shoot for real we don't have too much of that <laughs> i may have to i may have to name him doug because that's what i keep calling him good grief anyway so these are stickers so i'm assuming now becky can tell us but i'm assuming what she did was to copy her original art on the sticker paper isn't that cool 
So there's that one. We're going to use these today, I think. <laughs> if my energy holds out, we're going to use these. And these. Look how sweet these are. Our Becky is a very, very artistic person. And then this is the Safari. These are the Safari relatives, which I think is hysterical. So she made the envelope out of a calendar page. See the calendar? Such a good use of calendar. Cheap, thin calendar pages or any kind of pages. Let's see. Look. So this will go in my journal too. But here are the Safari relatives. <laughs> So these are all stickers. Luke. <laughs> this isn't, look at the nose. <laughs> Our Becky's quite an artist. I don't know if she realizes how much of an artist she really is, but she is. Look at this. I just briefly look through these just briefly. <laughs> oh, if you can't if you can't laugh at these, there's something wrong. The hairstyles are great. And having them on stickers is such a good idea. She looks like she has been out for a night on the town, didn't she? I, that, it's true. CB says she thinks some of these could be re related to some of my relatives. <laughs> I think she's probably right. Anyway. Becky, thank you very much. They, uh, they were such a bright spot. Such a bright spot in the day. Okay, so what I have here today, we're going to use that happy mail. Um, what I have is I have a journal that I need to cover because I'm just about to fill up another one of my journals. So I thought we'll, we'll play with this and then we'll use some of, some of Becky's wonderful things here. So in case you don't know, for because... Um, you're new around here. These are some of my journals that I use. So I just thought I would show you. They all start like this. These are moleskin. Oh. They're moleskin Kaye journals. They're the ruled Kaye journals. This is the word Kaye. And they come in sets of three and here in the United States they run about $14.95 sometimes you can find them on Amazon for a little bit less but $14.95 for three of them they are stitched journals they're single signatures but it's a stitched journal and I, I love this paper I've used lots of journals over the years and I just, I love the moleskin journal. This is another size. This is a much bigger size. This is more the size of the uh, composition notebook. And, but I love the paper. But my favorite size for writing in is this one. So this is the one I like. This one is a book of letters to my mother. So that's what I've been doing in this. <clears throat> My mother's been gone for a long time. And, but they're just, you know, there are just times when I just really want to say something to her. And so this is the way I do it. I choose to write it in the form of a letter in this journal. But there's a big, huge difference in these. Okay, so you can see the difference, size difference. So this is the one I use all the time for my writing. It's taken me a long time to figure out what, what journal suits me best 
for writing and that's my preference okay so I just thought I would show you some of the various covers because I like having covers on the journals um, I just I like that because then as I'm using them they just I don't know I get attached to them so this one is a piece of rice paper from Stamperia or Stamperia however you want to say it is fine uh, this was I don't know I don't know doesn't matter doesn't matter what they are they're all different kinds of things a lot of them are rice paper covers and there's all kinds of stuff inside them you know there's but they're primarily for writing for writing in and you can tell if life has been really difficult there's lots of writing and not very much stuff this one has room it still has room I should fit no not much never mind anyway <clears throat> this was a jelly print and these were some of the Tim Holtz stickers that I just put you know put together the music of my heart peace happiness and love contented spirit she was herself again this is more rice paper this one I mean it really took a beating inside my bag <laughs> it didn't look nearly this frosty when I first made it this is also um, rice paper the rice papers are the easy ones to do and they're beautiful this one I did on stream I believe this is um, fabric this is one of my mandala designs and I think I painted this on stream and I don't know if I stitched it on stream or I don't know anyway but that is I did some of this on a, on a live stream anyway these are all rice paper pieces of rice paper so this is the rice paper or the journal cover itself and then these are just um, you know they they were the I guess it came with sections divided up into sections on the sheet so that's what I did and this this one also went through a lot <clears throat> during its life of being filled up it did not it was not nearly this um, beat up <laughs> and so is this some of these just really took a beating inside my inside my journaling bag um, this was all about the stickers on the front cover I always I try to always put something on the front cover so I can differentiate <clears throat> from the back because it annoys me to no end to pick up the journal like this and have to flip it over that annoys me however if I have the front with something different on it I'm good um, so this is my life that is true it, I'm telling you here's the thing bless the person that ever reads these things I hope they never read them because they're gonna think these are the ravings of a lunatic <laughs> they could be right I don't know they could be right this is also rice paper this was from a download that Tam Laporte sent out at one point and so I decided to put it on there oh I do use these journals I definitely do hi Renee just saw you there it, it's really it I don't know I just saw Becky's comment about she should do that for her grandma there's something about it that just really helps me feel closer to her because there's my mom has been gone since 2006 and so there are so many things that have changed since 2006 and um, 
So it's a way for me to process those changes, you know, changes in life, changes in me, changes in my family. Um, it's a way for me to process, you know, um, so I have books of journals for other people going as well. And I don't write in, in them all the time, but I do from, you know, I'll get a bug sometimes and I'll just, I'll write and write and write to whatever. I haven't had that luxury for several months now. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff floating in my brain. <laughs> we don't need, we can get rid of anything that we can, right? So here's another one. And sometimes I use the same rice paper, you know, multiple times. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And here are the two most recent ones that I've been working, that I've been using. Um, this one, and then this is pretty typical of me to get, you know, to have garbage stuffed in every journal. This is rice paper that is that I did. So this is rice paper that I did and I just stuck these on here again only for the purpose of knowing where the front cover was because it irritates me to no end to pick it up like this and it's upside. Ugh. Real. There are some things that really annoy me. That's one. This is my current journal right here. This is um, Tim Holtz. Hi Sandy. Can't, again, writing is... Hi, Linda McAllister. Writing is not for everybody. Yeah, writing is not for everybody. It is for me. It is, as Laura says, a right way to process. And that is what I do. So, yeah. So, I do process. I process through writing. So, this is Tim Holtz tissue paper done on one of the craft journals. And I think I just put it on with a glue stick, and then I think I went back maybe and gave it a coat of matte medium, but I don't really know. I've slept since then, believe me. And these are the... Um, Amber sent these to me. Amber Rundle sent me a whole bunch of these that she got at Dollar Tree. And I just, I love those butterflies. There's another one. And I've used them... In different places in here I think I know I've used them in my previous journal maybe not I maybe in the other one I don't know I don't know yeah here's some of them so those are some of the the butterflies from that same group she also sent me these these were from Dollar Tree as well I think those are the nicest little butterflies here's more of that and more of those so sometimes I just cut them apart those are just the, the most fun little butterflies anyway so I just thought I would show you those anyway this one I'm just about finished with I'm just got this many more pages. It's very few pages. So, here's a new journal. And so I thought what we would do is I'm going to stick some um, and Becky, are these printed on, these are printed on inkjet, right? Inkjet paper or with an inkjet printer. I'm sure I'm a I'm assuming that's right. Yeah, Laura says that writing's not for everyone. She started and was taught to use it to process at age nine. Yeah, for I mean that I came kind of late to the yes okay. I came kind of late to the party, although I have accumulated a lots of journals. <laughs> Lots and lots and lots of journals. Okay, so what we have here is leftover junk. 
And so we're going to um, just put some of this leftover junk on this journal. And then we're going to put some, some of the yummy things that Becky sent are going to decorate the top of it. Because that's what I can do. Bye, Debbie. Yes, because that's what I can do today. Alright, so we got some of that and some of that. And I think these were all things that I pulled off the jelly plate. You know, like cleaning off the plate and stuff. And if you can hear my tummy growling, apologies for that being a little obnoxious. going to stick these on a glue stick. We'll see how it works. <laughs> we'll see how it works, huh? <laughs> okay, so we got some stuff to start with. If I need more, I'll dig up some more. I may have to go in where the cats are and get another glue stick. We'll see how long this one lasts. Because you know I killed a couple the last time we were together. Yeah, I killed a couple of glue sticks the last time we were doing stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to stick a piece of wax paper in here. So I don't have to work too hard. Because <laughs> I can't. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go for it. Let's just go for it and see what happens, shall we? Usually the stuff that I just go for is, ends up to be my favorite stuff. When you plot, plan, and you're so careful, and you know, you're really meticulous about things, it seems like those are the things that just screw up. But if you just don't think, you just do it. it seems like those turn out the best for me anyway. <clears throat> Anybody else have that experience where it's like, if you just don't plan, if you just go for it, it works out better. I'm just going to wrap this right to the inside, which I don't always think about doing. If I thought about it, I would have given this a little more, a little bit more of a wrap around here. Because uh, why not, right? 
because just why not? And I'll put some tape or something on the inside of that. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, if I'd thought about what I was doing there, I would have um, wrapped that around a little bit better. That's all right. We just, we just don't care. Do we? We just don't care. Oh, Becky's crocheting an afghan. What are you making an afghan for? Oh, she's going to give it to her old boss. Gotcha. Got ya. Crocheted afghans are wonderful. Yesterday afternoon, we sat out on the deck. We have a deck out off of the studio here. And we sat outside on the deck, and it was cold. And so we ended up with, uh, we were all bundled up in afghans and sweatshirts and but it was sunny and it was beautiful. We had, we have tea. I think we went down and got coffee. Brought it home, I think, and we sat outside on the deck. All bundled up like crazy people, like crazy people. It was fun though. Because it's pretty cool here right now. Now the spines get a lot of wear and tear. If you use a journal like this, they get a lot, a lot, a lot of wear and tear. And so you end up having to... Um, They'll wrinkle up, well, here, like this one. See, they wrinkle. So if you glue them down really well, they do, they do okay. If you don't glue them down real well in, the, in that spine area, they'll bubble and get kind of funky looking. You just kind of have to make peace with the funky. Make peace with the funky. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's do, um, I kind of like the way, the way that the pink is showing through and, um, doing whatever it's doing, you know, affecting. Or informing, as they would say, you know. If you're, if you're more sophisticated than I am, it's informing the design. To me, it just affects it, you know. And here's another thing about me. I, I can decide how to do something and then... By the time I get it off and put the glue on it, I've forgotten already what it was I wanted to do. Yeah. For the longest time when people would say things like, well, such and such informs the work. It's like, I don't even know what they're talking about. I was an unenlightened person. 
Sometimes I use that word like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know, Linda, right? Two North Pole people sitting on the deck. It was really nice, though. It's looking kind of good, don't you think? I think it's looking kind of good. What do you guys think? Okay, let's do let's do that right there. Just cause. Just because I want to. I should have brought a few more of these papers in here. I may have to go dig in the the abyss. So this glue stick that I'm using, just in case anybody's wondering, is um, Elmer's Extreme. For what it's worth, it is a glue stick that I particularly like. I ordered a bunch of them from Amazon, but different people have different preferences just because it's what I like. Sometimes I use matte medium to put stuff down. Sometimes I'll do this and then I'll put a coat of matte medium over the top of it. it just sort of depends on um, how things are behaving, you know. You know, sometimes you got to get pretty, pretty stern with your artwork and tell it to behave itself because it just, sometimes just things just want to screw up on you. And this is a scraper from the automotive store, Bondo Scraper. You can get three for a very inexpensive price. They are used in the automotive industry for bodywork on cars, spreading, I don't know what. I don't know what it is they spread on cars to do body work. Okay, let's put some more glue. More glueage. It's right, Ellie. I hear you. If it irritates you too much, it goes to the chim I have a chiminea that's off the deck. We bought it when my mom was here and I'm going to tell you truthfully that chiminea <laughs> this is the truth the chiminea has burned up more garbage as in uh, written words and papers than it's ever burned wood yeah you know that thing about processing by writing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And sometimes I get rid of stuff. I just absolutely get rid of things. That, you know, I do have a really good shredder now. That's made a big difference. <laughs> a really good shredder that turns stuff into confetti. That's a really good thing to have also. Here's the bad thing about the, the shredder. 
uh, when we first got it, we had so much stuff because we were going to take. We used to have a professional shredder here in where we lived, and so you could take, and they they charged you by the pound, and it wasn't much, and you could take uh, you know a truckload of junk to the shredder. And they would shred all this stuff. I mean, they would shred old checks and old tax documents and, you know, old legal stuff. All that stuff that you didn't, you know, after 25 or 30 years, it's like, time to let it go. You know what I mean? And um, they stopped doing that. And, yeah, so that was really annoying. Anyway, I like this journal cover. Oh, I like this. I am liking this. Look. Look at this. Look how cool that's coming out. Oh, I am loving this. Mary. Mary's here. Mary. I just saw your name pop up in there. I got something for you, Mary. This is going to be donated to your cause if you want it. For your, um, for your rusty journal. Look, look, you don't even have to rust it. It's a ton of Battenberg lace. It's all hand done. It's not in good shape anymore. It's a lot. Look, Mary, it's a lot. Look at this. It's perfect for your journal. If you want it, you have my email address. Send me an email. <laughs> I need your mailing address. Anyway. And then if you want to share it with other people, you're welcome to do that. Somebody shared it with me. I'm sharing it with you. So there you go. After <laughs> 25 years. Yeah. I've been married a long time. Anywho, so uh, we ended up buying a, a uh, shredder. Because I could... I could buy the shredder for a good shredder for, you know, heavy duty that was less money. Okay, Mary. Um, oh, you're welcome. Listen, I know you'll use it. Here, it's, somebody gave it to me, and here it's just going to sit, and, you know, I'm just going to move it from one place to another. <laughs> no. Anyway. I will happily send that to you. Alright, what was I saying? So anyway, we bought a shredder. And then Claus Man shredded for days. He shredded stuff. Because we had so much garbage that needed to be gotten rid of. I mean, he literally shredded for days. And... <laughs> I think we ended up getting rid of at least three or four, I don't know how many bags, big trash bags of shredded bits because it goes into these little confetti bits, right? And um, here's how sick, this is sick, okay? This is a sickness. I freely admit it, this is a sickness. I had to look at the, the stuff in the confetti the after it shredded, and I had to make myself not keep any of those shreds because here's the thing. It was pretty. Yeah. What is wrong? What is wrong with this person? What is wrong with this person who has... Who, is getting rid of, he's shredding all this garbage to get rid of it, and then thinks about keeping the shredded bits because it's because the colors are pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ugh. What is wrong with me? Hmm? Oh, hi Alicia. Thank you. I know, my handmade paper. But then what am I going to do? Then what am I going to do? I need to get rid of... The whole point was I needed to get rid of junk. And here I am thinking about keeping it. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I got enough pieces. 
of stuff here. I'm just puzzling this together to see if I got enough. And then I'll go back to the desk so you can see. I know, Ellie, right? I couldn't believe I couldn't believe that I actually entertained that thought. I actually entertained that thought. I'm just trying to puzzle this together to see if I have enough. If I don't, I'm going to have to go dig out some more. Another piece of deli paper. Not that I don't have plenty to dig out. Do I have any in here? My studio space is a wreck. Let me go get one more piece of deli paper. Yeah, my studio space is a complete disaster. Our, um, you can't see it, but where I'm pointing, if you followed, no, this way, just past this piece of furniture that you see here, an old sewing machine, just to the left of that is a door that goes into a bathroom. And the hot water in our studio area, the hot water heater has been out for a while and I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to think about having to fix it. Well, I decided it probably was a good idea to fix it for several reasons. Anyway, this, the shower in this bathroom, um, this was where my mom lived in this space. We built this, added this onto the house for her. And so that bathroom is all set up with a, a walk-in, big shower, and and it's a big, nice big bathroom and all that. Well, I didn't need, she was, nobody was living here. This just turned into my art studio after she was gone. And so I needed the storage space more than I needed the shower. <laughs> so, and, and then the hot water went out, so, and I just didn't have it fixed. It was one of these tankless hang-on-the-wall water heater on-demand water heaters. Anyway, um, so I had Clausman disconnect the shower head and the hose, so he capped it off so we, could, we didn't have water coming in. There was no chance of that. And then there was two seats, because it's a big shower, there's two seats in it, so then he cut a piece of wood for me and we put some padding under it so that this board bridges that. So that became a shelf. So this whole shower became storage for me. And so now I'm turning it back into the, the usable shower. We got the hot water fixed yesterday, which thankfully didn't cost an arm and a leg. I was very grateful. And so all the junk... <laughs> which most of it is samples, class samples. Everything that was in there now is back in here where the cats are. So they're like in a, they're like in a maze, you know, to get up on the t cutting table or to go anywhere. It's like they have, they're having the best time. They're having the time of their lives. The time of their lives. Yeah. Ugh, it's crazy. Anyway. Okay. Back to the table. All right. So I have one more piece here. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how we do with this, shall we? Because I'm sure that I will forget, and I didn't take a picture, of course, of the placement. It doesn't really matter. I just need enough. Oh, my stomach is just having a 
fit here. Okay, good enough. Moving on. Make a decision and do it. Just make a decision. It's just a little journal cover. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I have to tell myself. I have to have conversations with myself. You ever have to do that? Stop fretting over this. Just do it. And I'm not being especially neat and tidy with the corners and all this stuff. Those little corners are rounded. But here's what I usually end up doing is after I get this whole thing done, then I usually come back with a sanding block and um, sand the edges anyway, so it doesn't really matter. to do that because that pocket doesn't even open all the way down there. Well, okay then. Just be that way. Okay, good enough. Moving on. Okay, so next we're going to put this piece on here and see where that goes. Because like I said, I don't even remember how I had it. Let's do this piece next and see what happens. Shall we? I just could not believe that I honestly entertained the thought of saving those confetti shreds. Like, I mean, I, I had to make myself not save them. Go, oh, Barb. Oh, Barb. You gotta get a hold of yourself, girl. You gotta get a hold of yourself. Can you hear Chance? He's in the other room talking about his sorry life being relegated to the the mean person who put him in there. He's probably going to get to come out because I'm just about out of this glue stick. I'm going to have to go get another one. Don't think I have enough. No, I don't have enough to get through this whole cover. are getting sticky, sticky, sticky. That is the thing about working with a glue stick. It does make your hands sticky.
You can see how meticulous I am being about this, can't you? <laughs> Not. All right, I'll be right back because we have killed this glue stick. I have to go in there. He thinks he's pretty hot stuff because he escaped. I'm glad I'm not the only one that does crazy stuff. <laughs> Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society says, I didn't know Barb spoke a foreign language. What is making the decision and just do it? Yeah. You need a translation? Stop yourself. I used to have this thing where I'd go, stop yourself, stop yourself right now. I don't even know where that came from, but yeah. Chance thinks this is like the greatest thing that's ever happened. If you could see, I've worked myself. I've now built a fort around myself. And he thinks it's great. Now he's circling the wagons here. Yep, I see you. Nobody cares, Chance. Nobody cares. Nope, nobody cares. Nope, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to hear about it. Poor Charlie has got, I don't know what he's got going on. He is sneezing and he has some real respiratory thing going on. So the reality is I don't know how long he will be with us, but you know what? For today... He's still here, but he is not in, he's not exactly thriving. Hey, buddy boy. I don't know if you guys are enjoying watching this process or not. However, it's what I decided to do today. Because as Laura says, and Laura knows, the Jersey Crafter, sometimes that's what you can do. It's just glue stuff. Who else knows that? He's down here, Chance is down here on the floor, right by me, and he's rubbing his face on everything. Because there's that box of stuff, it was new, and so he's got to mark it and rub his face on all of it. So Mary, if you're allergic to cats, <laughs> you'll have to do, you'll have to wash all this. You'll have to wash the rusty thing. So, we have collaged this together. 
and even had a little bit left over, which I didn't think I was going to have. So, yeah. No, just stop. Just stop. You don't need to do any of that. Throw that away. Oh, I was going to pick off those little bitty pieces and do something with them. No. You've been gluing right along with me, Laura. That's good. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, so there is um, the journal. Okay, so this is what we did. It started out pink. This pink back here in the background, that's the color of the actual... Well, here. Duh. There you go. That's the actual color of the journal. I actually like having these uneven edges around here. And I just cut this um, just to keep the pocket. The way it really is, is this is open across the top, but I just let the pocket stay open. And there's the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at what Becky sent. So these are things that Becky sent. Beautiful Happy Mail. These are stickers. I'm not going to use everything on this. And for my next trick, I have to figure out how to get um, the backing off of this. <laughs> Clausman, if you can hear me, tell me how you're doing. You doing okay? Staying hooked up down there? Kim? Mary's not allergic. Okay. All right. So, that's probably really good that you're not allergic. Okay, we're going to put this right here just because that's what I wanted to do. Cheryl. <clears throat> so this artwork, in case you just arrived, these were all from Aunt Beck, from Becky, Aunt Beck's Creations. Joycey. Looks like it's waxed. I'm look, peeking over at the box. It looks like it's waxed. Honestly, I don't, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'll use, I have some that I, that I got from, actually from a deli in our area. And, um, I don't know what it was. And they gave me quite a bit of it. Because I asked and blinked my eyes real nicely. Let's 
batted my eyelashes. Otherwise, in other words, I begged. I know, Ellie, right? <laughs> she says it's amazing how effective eyelash batting can be. So true. So true. I'm going to put all of these little mandalas on here. The big one I think I'm going to save. I was going to put it on here too, but I think I'll save it. Or I may put it inside. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'd like to have everything from Becky in this one journal. So, well, and then these, the Safari relatives, I'll carry those in my bag and I'll use those when I'm actually journaling. To I, I almost always start with something on the page before I do the writing. It's kind of like the thing that you know, you hear about people talking about getting centered. That's kind of the thing that grounds me or centers me is to put um, something on the page, whether it's stickers or pictures or whatever it is. So I, I will do things on around the edges of the pages before I start writing. And I always date the page, date the the journal page and I always put the uh, the day of the week. I usually sometimes I've gotten real fancy with the days of the week and sometimes not. You know, sometimes I just am doing a good job just to write it, <laughs> just to get it on the, just to get it on the piece of the journal page. Okay, so let's um, find a safari relative. We're going to just put her right there. So she's going to break in. So she's going to break in this journal. I'm going to trim her up a little bit. So Becky drew all of these and then she printed them on sticker paper, which is such a great idea. What are you doing down there? There's just nothing like the melodious voice of a Siamese. Siamese cats, I'd never had a Siamese until these two. And I was talking to a friend of mine who is, she's had Siamese cats for years. And I said something about what some of the stuff that they were doing when I first got them. And, and my friend goes, yeah. And I said, what do you mean, yeah? I said, I've never had a cat that did that. She says, I've never had a cat that didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, Siamese are their own. They are their own. They are just their own. Such goofy little... 
beings they are. All right, let's see if we can get the sticker back off of this. I can always break out a straight pin if I have to. So I thank you all for joining me today. It's been a lot of fun to have you guys here. been good to be here. I missed you guys last week. I did. I missed you last week. <laughs> She's so funny. I love that. So here's what I normally do is I have this fingernail file from, um, I don't know, some beauty supply place or something. And I usually just go around the edges. And sometimes, you know, the glue stick will not allow something to adhere all the way down to the surface. And if that happens, then I either make peace with it or and just say, yeah, it's okay. Or I'll go in there with a straight pin and some glue and I'll put a little, I'll do a little repair. But for a journal like this, the main thing is for me is to get, get it covered before I start writing in it. There have been times I've written in it first and then it's really hard for me to go back and get the cover on. I just like the covers. I like them to be covered because then I remember every journal and writing in it. You know, um, I just, I really like that. Okay, and so then I'm going to use this cobalt ink, archival cobalt ink, which happens to be one of my favorite colors. And by having the edge sanded, it evens out the edge. And the other thing it does is it just makes the, makes the edge a little more receptive to the ink. Some covers I've taken a lot of time with, some some I don't so much, but um, I just really wanted to have Becky's Happy Mail on the cover of this journal. And there is the cover of this journal. And I may add a word or something too. I don't know, but there's that. But you can see the ink. The ink just kind of helps to frame it. So then I'll take the rest of the Safari relatives. Because that's what they are. Because that's what Becky said. And I'll just stick them back here. And then after I use them all up, then I'll put the envelope in the journal. So that'll work perfectly. Perfect. Right? Yes. Chance is down here talking all about it. It turned out really well for being a bunch of scraps and some beautiful Happy Meal. 
Okay, are you going to have to get up here? Apparently so. Can you guys stand it if I put them up here? <sighs> yeah, ta-da. That's right. Ta-da. Are you coming up? You get that crud out of your eyeballs so you look like you like somebody cares about you. Alright, come here. Whoa. Get you your own private camera. What other animals do you know that have their own private camera? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we got you. Alright, there's Chance. You need to come up to you and your hack and coffin self. Come here. Let me see how you look. You look pretty good. You look pretty good. We'll just let you do this right here. So in case you're new around here, this is Charlie. This one. He's the one that's having some real respiratory things going on. This is Chance. They're the sponsors. Um... Oh, oh, congratulations, Dorothy. That's wonderful. Yeah, so here are the kitties. The kitties and the mom. And we just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. I'm glad it worked out for us to be able to get here. <laughs> All of us. Wait a minute. I got the wrong. I got the wrong camera here. There we go. Um, so thanks for joining me. Thank you, Becky, for, for, I'm trying, here, you'll have to look at the little picture of me down the corner. Thank you, Becky, for providing the good stuff for my journal. Thank you, thank you. And inside, I have my very own safari relative on the first page already. It's already used. Yeah, right. So thanks for joining us, and uh, it's great to see everybody. I hope you're having a good, uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you, hopefully, hopefully I will see you next week. Oh, thanks, Lena. Hopefully I'll get to see you next week. Stay tuned. I'll let you know. See everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And um, I'll see you around. So, bye for now. Remember to get creative today because you know it's easy. I'm trying to remember that myself. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody.